If you have been wondering how to get those on-trend beachy waves for medium length hair, then this video is for you. This video is sponsored by Hair Care Shop Beauty, and in this video, I'll be featuring their Prism 5-in-1 Curling Wand Set. Some of the benefits of these irons is that it has five different heads that you can put on there that are interchangeable. It also has a glove on there to prevent you from burning yourself with the wand. Each of them are ceramic coated, which means you have an even consistent heat, and it all comes in a styling tote. The wand also has an automatic one hour shut off time. In addition to that, it also has a swivel cord on there to keep you from getting a jumbled up cord while you're working. It does have a digital thermostat on there as well, and all of that makes for a really easy to use iron that is nice and convenient for at home use. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on this medium length mannequin here. And um, I'll put some links to affordable mannequins down in the description box below if you are wanting to learn how to style other people's hair or if you're a cosmetology student or an aspiring cosmetology student. And I'll give you some tips and pointers along the way. Now, before we dive into that, because this iron has five different heads, I wanna to talk to you about the different types of curls you can get out of the different head sizes or the different wand or barrel sizes that you'll see. So let's discuss that really briefly. Of course, for a smaller curl, you're going to use a smaller iron like this one here. This one is a little bit above a half inch. So this one here is a significantly smaller curl. This is gonna give you a much tighter curl that's more drawn up. So if you're one that likes tight curls, this one here may work pretty well for you. But I find usually longer haired individuals prefer the smaller ones like this. Now you've also got a one inch barrel like this here. And by the way, all of these attach, I just haven't decided which one I'm gonna use yet. Um, but the one inch barrel is gonna give you a little bit more, especially on medium length hair, a little bit more of that beachy wave. It depends on the length of the hair and the amount of rounds around there. So for longer length hair, the bigger barrels will give you a looser wave. Whereas for medium length hair, a medium barrel will often give you a looser wave. Since this one's about one and a quarter to one and a half inches. You uh, can see here, the amount of rounds around that is just past one time. So we're gonna have a much looser wave in there uh, as a result of that as well. You also have the ones that taper down like this here. The benefit of using this type of wand here is that the top portion of it on the top part of the hair, you can easily uh, get a good size wand or a good size wave because the top of this is about the size of the last one I showed you. But the bottom of this is smaller than the first one I showed you here. So we're actually a little bit thinner than that first wand that I showed you there. So the benefit to that, especially with medium length hair, is that a lot of times in the nape area, the hair tends to be shorter just because of the fact that it's cut straight across. So you've got one wand that will serve for the shorter lengths down here and the longer lengths up here. So if you're looking for a one wand that does everything there, that was a great one for medium length hair if you're looking to be able to do the whole head and get a pretty consistent curl. And then you have this type of wand here, which is more of a beaded effect. Now this one here is going to give a much more organic type of look because your curls aren't just going to be the same size all the way down. If they catch in here, they'll be smaller. If they catch around here, they'll be a little larger. So it gives you a little bit more of a natural looking wave uh, that just gives you a nice beachiness to it. I probably shouldn't be propping my arm on her head, but that's okay. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the one inch iron here and we're just going to pop that in place and get moving. So this one came on at 410. I'm going to turn that down to about three, let's do 370 to start and I'm just going to let that warm up. Now I can feel it's already getting warm. If you are a newbie to using a curling wand, this wand here does come with a protective glove that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that on just so you can use it. And whether you're righty or lefty, it works either way. And let's say you have finer hair that doesn't hold curls really well and you wanna ensure that your hair is holding curls a bit longer. Just take a light uh, hairspray. This one here is a firm hold, but I'm gonna show you how to use it. So what we're going to do, and let me just move her back some so you can more easily see. So I'm just gonna lightly mist over the hair while lifting and separating out. This is going to help to give the hair a little bit of texture and memory when we curl and that way your curls stay in longer all day especially because if you're doing a beachy wave this isn't a tight curl that has a lot of space to fall. So with waves we really want to make sure that we have prepped that hair ahead of time to give it enough memory to hold this style all day long. Wow and it's already hot enough so that's an excellent time on there. Uh, I will say this glove does let some heat go through so you can't get crazy with it. Um, with an a shower exfoliating glove, like one of those in the shower, I feel like they get a little bit better heat protection. So that's a benefit. Even though this is a sponsored video, I still always give my honest opinion. And I will say this glove, while it's some protection, it's not the best protection there. But I will say for the price of this whole set, 
I can't really complain. So for the five in one set with this, it was $41 currently. And on top of that, there's a 15% off discount code in the description box down below. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this hair parted out in the nape area, and I'm just gonna take about a one inch by one inch section. Now, of course, if you want even looser waves, take bigger sections. For smaller waves, you can also take smaller sections. And it, does, it depends on your uh, density as well. So if you have quite a bit of hair, take smaller sections. It'll make sure you get a more consistent curl. So I'm gonna comb through that and we'll place that comb right on up here. And then you see these little nibs here? I'm going to, not only are those to set down on a surface that way your iron doesn't burn up your surface, but they can also be placed directly onto the scalp and that way you're not burning up your scalp. Another nice thing about these is they all have protective tips on them to prevent you from burning yourself so badly there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring that all the way around holding that end here now if i wanted to get a little bit more of a curled look on the ends i can go ahead and press down against the iron with the ends but that straight look is more in right now so from there don't run your fingers through this curl let it cool okay i'm going to go ahead and do these in alternating directions just to kind of give more of a um, beachy disheveled type of look so we're going to go ahead and go around here and notice I'm not so concerned about getting everything just perfect. This is about a beachy wave. Now, uh, the look to this right now is more about kind of giving you that organic, natural looking texture. So I will say a common mistake that I see people doing when they're using a curling wand that doesn't make it look like it was a curling wand is they take the hair and they want to wrap it around like this here. And it gives you like this perfect curl. You can even see on there, this looks like I'm curling on a curling iron. The curl that it gives you, notice, is totally different from those other two curls. So it's not gonna be quite so beachy with that style there. This is a regular curling iron type of curl, whereas these two are giving you more of that beachy look where it goes wider, thinner, wider. It just gives you a different look. So if you're looking for this type of curl, use a curling iron. If you want that beachy look, use a curling wand, but use it in the manner that it's going to give you the best outcome. Now, of course, you can do this on long hair as well. Uh, but I'm showing this on medium hair because I feel like majority of people on YouTube are showing this on long hair And I understand everybody doesn't have super long hair So I want to make sure that people with medium length hair uh, are able to get this too If you have shorter hair and you want me to do a tutorial for that Let me know and I will film a video for that as well now a styling tip here for medium length hair in order to make it look like uh, the cheeks are not so full is to go ahead and under this underneath portion curl that towards the face so what we're going to do here is i'm going to take this and i'm going to split it into two and this first portion here i'm going to go ahead and curl it down towards the face so just like this here okay now what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that when this curl is brushed out it just grazes see how it just grazes the cheek instead of flowing back and away from the cheeks this is going to help to trim the look of the jawline and the cheeks some and then on the upper portion because it's not so popular for it to go into the face we're going to go ahead and curl away from the face so that way we can still stay on trend but still trim in the facial shape some so that's just a little stylist secret to help you out Look how beautifully those curls are turning out with that one inch iron. So I just want you guys to kind of see here, even though yes, it's a one inch that sounds fairly small on medium length hair, this is gonna give you a nice loose wave. So I just can't wait until we kind of drag our fingers through this or a large comb so that way you guys can see that finished look. Now, just so you know, when you are working on this hair and you're selecting, let's say, a temperature for your iron, I would highly recommend selecting your temperature based on your fabric of hair. You don't wanna just throw it on and try to put it on a hot temperature just because of the fact that you feel like it's gonna do it faster. Notice, when I turned this iron on, it came on at 410 degrees. That was a little too hot for this hair. This hair is a medium texture. Now, 410 degrees for a coarse texture, meaning the diameter of the strand is larger, is gonna be pretty good. Uh, now, it's still a little high because honestly, I don't really care to go higher than 400 degrees on most fabrics of hair. But uh, for, let's say, fine hair, I really don't recommend going above 360 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind and consider. Uh, I would not just throw 400 degrees on there. So keep in mind when you're doing this, you want to use temperatures responsibly. And if you don't know the texture of your hair, I do have a video to help you determine the texture of your hair and to explain what the difference in textures is. So that way you can get a better understanding because everyone thinks it's based off of curl pattern and it has nothing to do with your curl pattern 
pattern whatsoever. So if you feel like your hair is a a tight curl, therefore it is coarse hair. That's not true. Um, it's dealing with the diameter of the strands. So that's just something for you to consider and keep in mind. And also keep in mind, I mean, some of these temperatures, these irons are coming out at these days, 450 degrees, it's more, more than enough heat for most heads of hair. Keep in mind, you don't bake bread at that temperature. You don't bake pot roast at that temperature. You don't bake cookies at that temperature. Don't bake your hair at that temperature. <laughs> Okay, so once we've completed those curls, they're still a bit warm in a couple places, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my hairspray again and lightly mist. Now, this doesn't have to be for every texture of hair, but especially if you have that fine hair that is difficult to hold curls, layering your products is gonna help to give you a lot more memory. So we're just gonna lightly mist throughout this. Now, the number one thing that I notice when people are using hairspray is they have a tendency to use it too close or to mist really close to the hair uh, where the hair is getting wet. You just want it to lightly dust the hair. That way the alcohol in it's not drying the hair out. You're getting the hold and the memory to it and you're not messing up your curls because they're getting wet all over again. So we wanna layer it with a light mist. Um, again, this is because we're giving it some memory and then that way when we comb through it or finger comb through it, we are allowing it to remember the shape that it was in. So it feels like we're pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead on this side here. I'm going to just finger comb because I want you guys to see if we are doing more of a loose beachy finger comb wave. This is how it looks versus how it looks when you finish it. Now on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and take a large tooth comb like this, and we're gonna comb through it this way. So you guys can kind of see the difference. Now, I personally like the comb through look. You may prefer more of that uh, finger comb through look. So you can kind of see the difference in what it gives you here versus when it is freshly curled here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb through that and check out those curls. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that now, toss a little, little bit, if you wanted to put a little bit of a serum or shine spray in here at this point, this is a great time to do it. And the reason why I like to tossle it some is just because it gives you that a bit more lived in look, uh, not so perfect. Because keep in mind, these are your beachy waves that are not meant to look perfect. It's meant to look lived in and effortless, even if it took you quite a bit of effort. So I don't, it's crazy to put so much work into looking effortless, but that way you guys can kind of see the difference that you get in those curls. Okay, so let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this on a regular basis, make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can learn more about hair and how to care for it. This girl's driving me crazy. Uh, until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. And don't forget, if you're interested in getting this iron, check out the links in the description box down below. Thank you so much, Hair Care Shop Beauty, for sponsoring this video and for sending your Prism 5-in-1 curling wand for me to utilize for this tutorial. Until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. You know I love you, boo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>